Assembly AI is building the best API platform for developers to transform and understand voice data so that they can build amazing new products and services for the world to use. You can transcribe your audio data with Assembly AI or get a speaker labeled version of your transcription, but you can do much more. You can get a list of topics discussed, whether there was any flagged content in there, whether there was any personally sensitive information in there, or the sentiment of each of your files. You can also use an LLM through Assembly AI seamlessly by using our Lemur endpoint. For everything I've mentioned here and more, we have a tutorial on our YouTube channel. I will leave the links to each of these tutorials in the description below. But today in this video, let's take a look at how you can start using Assembly AI's latest model, Universal One. All right, let's get started. So all of the code that I'm using here is available on the Assembly AI docs. So if you just go to assemblyai.com slash docs and go to the speech recognition section, you will have access to all of the code that I'm building here. And actually, you could just copy and paste this code. If you already log into Assembly AI, even your API key will be already inserted. But to make it easier to follow, I will start building the code here as we go along. First, we need to import Assembly AI's Python SDK very simply by saying import assembly AI as AAI. If you don't have assembly AI's Python SDK yet, you can easily install it by running the command pip install assembly AI. Next, I just need to set my assembly AI API key. If you don't have an assembly AI account yet, you can easily go to assemblyai.com and create an account in just a couple of minutes and then you will immediately have your API key. And then it's time to define the audio data that I'm going to pass to Assembly AI. You basically have two options for this. You can either pass Assembly AI a URL, a link, pointing to a audio or video file, or if you have an audio or video file in your own system, you can upload it to Assembly AI. Either way, it's the same way of working. We just need to give it either the path or the link to this file that we have that we want to transcribe. I will pass it a sample file that we use quite often where two speakers are uh, discussing the Canadian wildfires. And then we will define a transcriber object. And through this transcriber object, I'm going to call the transcribe function and pass it my audio URL. And as a result, we're going to get a transcript. So let's print this transcript first. The response to the transcribe function includes more than just a transcription text. It includes some extra information. So if you just want the text of this transcription, we just need to call transcript.text. So let's run this example and then take a look at what the transcription looks like. Then I'm going to show you some ways of customizing your output with assembly AI. So this is our transcription. As you can see, it is already finalized. It has a punctuation. It has capitalization of the first letters and also proper nouns. Let's take a look at some ways to customize our Assembly AI's API call. So first of all, how can you use Universal One Assembly AI's latest model? Well, fortunately, Assembly AI's API by default uses Universal One's best tier. So when you're calling the transcribe function on the transcriber, you are automatically choosing to use the best version, the best model Assembly AI has to offer. If you have a use case where you do not need the best tier speech recognition, instead you just want to do some bulk transcription for even a better price, then you can use the nano tier of Assembly AI. So let me show you how you can do that here. So for that, we're just going to have to pass a config argument, a configuration argument to our transcriber. So I will call transcription config here and then I will specify the speech model. So the options are speech model, either best, which is the default option, or you can use nano, which is a less accurate, but less expensive option. And then we need to pass this configuration to the transcriber. We probably won't see a big difference in the example right here in front of us. So I'm not going to run this one, but I will show you some other configuration changes that you can make. For example, like we said, in the transcription that we got, we already have some styling, right? We have the punctuation, we have the capitalization of the relevant sentences and the letters. If you want, you can turn this off. For that, you just need to set punctuate to false, which is by default true, and formatting, format text to false. 
And then let's run this example again and see how our, our transcription is different this time. All right, let's take a look. We do not have punctuations unless it is absolutely relevant and we do not have the capitalization or any other formatting of the text. So if you want only the raw text, that's the way to go. Assembly AI by default transcribes the files assuming they're in English. But if you have a file that is in another language, you can set your language manually on Assembly AI. For that, you just need to make a new line on your configuration and say language code to, for example, Spanish. You can find all the languages Assembly AI supports on our documentation. If you don't know the language that your audio file is in, or you don't want to manually pass it to Assembly AI, you can also set automatic language detection to true. Let's see this in an example. So now I will pass a audio file that's in Spanish to Assembly AI, but I want the text to be punctuated and formatted, and I want to use the best possible tier from Assembly AI. So let's run this and see. Let's take a look at the results. Without us specifying to Assembly AI that this audio file was in Spanish, it understood that it was in Spanish and it gave us a transcription all in Spanish. And I know in this audio file we have multiple speakers, so let's try to get Assembly AI to get us the speaker labels. And once again, all I have to do is to add one line where I will set speaker labels to true. But this time, instead of just printing the text, we need to print the results of the speaker diarization. All right, let's try this out. Let's take a look at our results. So this is basically a street interview kind of video. So that's why you can see we have a lot of different speakers. So speaker A very likely is the interviewer and everyone else all the way up to speaker F are people that are being interviewed. As you can see, all of the sentences or the group of sentences are attributed to a speaker. If you make an account with Assembly AI today, you will have access to all of these functionalities and customizations and more only for 37 cents an hour for the best tier and 12 cents an hour for the nano tier. If you want to track your usage, you can always go to your Assembly AI dashboard where you can see the number of hours you're transcribing and how much it costs you. Next, if you want to learn how to transcribe a stream of audio with Assembly AI, you can watch this video. Thank you for watching and we cannot wait to see what you will build with Assembly AI.